dog neglected for years finally gets a haircut that uncovers his real identity it's recommended that you get your haircut approximately every 8 to 12 weeks if you're looking to keep your hair bouncy and healthy that period when hair is riddled with split ends and looks lifeless has most people running to the salon but what if you were forced to give up on grooming altogether while people can take themselves to supercuts whenever they want dogs rely on their people to keep their coats in shape it's more important than you think because neglected fur can become infected fur one dog in Tennessee was desperate for some maintenance and he was starting to worry it was too late on any given day at a private barn down south you're bound to be greeted by sunshine comfortable silence and a rustic ambiance joyful peaceful sightings of sheep cows and chickens all make up the countryside experience however one Tennessee barn holds an ambiance much darker one that exudes pure gloom that barn housed a dog who probably wouldn't speak too highly of life on the farm that dog is Lazarus the sweet Pyrenean mountain dog lived a life of neglect and discomfort throughout his first seven years we can only imagine the fear that plagued the poor pup who sported a pretty gnarly hairdo the Tennessee pooch spent those years cooped up in the smelly filth coated barn having no room to run and no sky to see he was left alone to fend for himself unintentionally fencing himself in with his own waist he must have been particularly uncomfortable Pyrenean mountain dogs have double coats of fur with a dense fine undercoat without proper grooming matting can lead to skin issues and unfortunately Lazarus endured extreme matting the matting was a surprisingly weighty mess Lazarus's fur overgrew to an incredible mass weighing an astonishing 35 pounds his life was at stake and help needed to come sooner rather than later grievously the dog's owner reportedly suffered from a mental illness having called a relative for immediate assistance so the owner was no help to Laz little did the helpless pooch know he was about to encounter the best day of his heretofore sad life soon enough after the owner's relative made an urgent phone call a diligent rescue team of volunteers from the big fluffy dog rescue which included two groomers who must have anticipated the challenge of their career came to liberate Lazarus to the horror of the rescue team there was a tremendous amount of dirt and feces blocking the door to Lazarus's barn stall so much so that the team had to shovel a path to save the poor furry angel Lazarus was so close to freedom when they could finally tend to the struggling pooch the team immediately became aware of some health problems Lazarus had been facing which hindered his ability to get around with ease the matted fur like a swarming restricting ivy plant covered the building tragically made it impossible for him to walk the mutt must have dreamed of running free in a sunny field chasing cats and butterflies but would he ever be able to Gene Harrison the owner of the big fluffy dog rescue said he had no muscle mass and was unable to move around let alone walk although the news was alarming the team just had to start buzzing off some of that nasty dead fur without hesitation it took three hours to groom Lazarus who initially cowered from the rescue team's touch out of pure fear once his neck was free from the fur prison however he warmed up realizing that the group of strange humans had good intentions he calmed down and seemed to realize the grooming was making him feel better Jesse Kinchelo one of the dog groomers said on behalf of Lazarus rest assured after cutting off all of Lazarus's impeding fur he was a new man or rather a new good boy we think he looks rather dapper in his new do Gene Harrison mentioned that he unfortunately didn't have typical dog mannerisms down pat Lazarus doesn't know how to be a dog she said he doesn't exactly know how to behave like a dog he'd soon learn though Gene voiced that the still shy Lazarus approached a freshly grilled steak cautiously which made us sad dogs shouldn't have to be grateful for food she said nor should the innocent creature ever have to suffer but Lazarus's suffering was over from there Lazarus was taken into a foster home in Virginia where he would embark on his arduous recovery journey as well as receive heaps of good boy pets and kisses he had a lot of pain to overcome but more importantly he had a lot of happiness to look forward to it would take weeks or even months for the pup to regain strength 
muscle mass, and a little self-esteem prior to getting adopted by his forever family. But until then, Lazarus still had sights to see and steaks to devour. As expected, Lazarus was adopted in no time. His family clearly takes proper care of his precious, high-maintenance coat and gives him tons of TLC. We think he deserves all the love and steaks the world has to offer. Rescuing dogs like Lazarus isn't always easy, but it's always rewarding. In fact, some rescuers would say that it's the toughest cases that are the most rewarding. That's something Chris and Pam of the Michigan Humane Society know firsthand. Michigan experienced unseasonable rainfall in the summer of 2017, and it caused statewide flash flooding that crippled the state. Humans and animals alike needed all the help they could get. So when the rescuers received a call that 12 dogs, 11 puppies and their mother, endangered by the raging storms, they had no idea what to expect when they arrived on the scene. Please share this with your friends and family.